The 391st Bold Tigers deployed, leaving behind several F-15s, a few pilots, and some maintainers. And since Mountain Home Air Force Base is also home to the 389 Thunderbolts, they decided to join forces, you know, work together to fly things and fix stuff. They had to take in all the aircraft that were left behind and all the personnel that were left behind. So the scope of everything we're looking at increases when you go from 21 aircraft to 34 aircraft. Uh, we got a lot more jets than we got people. So obviously the ops tempo has been a lot, a lot higher. Taking on their aircraft, we actually have had a lot of work to do on their aircraft. So yours truly was contacted and told of a new squadron, the Thundercats. And then I find out about the rivalry. Uh, it's different because it's two different cultures that merge. And uh, so you have um, some kind of battling that goes along on between the different AMUs. You know, one says they're better than the other. I've heard of rivalries before. I mean, we all have them, even in my shop. See, that's a photographer photobombing my awesome video shot. So what do I do? Say goodbye to award-winning photo and hello to chubby broadcaster. Anyway, rivalries are everywhere, including the T-Bolts and Bold Tigers. I mean, they feel like it's our fault that their jets break so much, but I feel like it's their fault that ours break so much, so. The jets from the 91st, they just start breaking, and all of a sudden... Oh, yeah, okay. We have a higher first time fix rate. Because it never leaves the ground for the second time. <laughs> Here? Yeah, I'd say that their jets probably break a little bit more. <laughs> 389 is better. It's just... You're going to have your diehards. You're going to have your diehards. And not everyone was on board with the Thundercats idea. So, I came up with something awesome to help change their minds. That would not happen. No? No. All right. Do you want me to show it? That no, would not what? happen. Why not? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think they were working on something that actually had the Thundercat logo on it. It doesn't work that way. All right. Maybe the Thundercats isn't too popular, but it's all in good fun. And it gives a chance to learn something from the other side. So we both have the same mission and the same things that we do, but we do it a little bit differently. Uh, you see what they do down there? and. You're like, well, I never thought about doing it that way, and you do it that way, and it actually makes the job a lot easier. And same thing, you can teach them your tricks that you've learned throughout the time as well. Whether they're Thunderbolts, Bold Tigers, or the much more awesome name because of sweet 80s music, the Thundercats, they'll keep flying things and fixing stuff until the 391st comes home. They definitely op you know, opened their arms and welcomed us and made it kind of one squadron, and it's been fun. It's cool to, because now that we are combined, to be able to have something that we can share together, not to sound weird or anything, not to get weird on you, but just to have something that the two squadrons can have in common. Uh, I think it's cool. Senior Airman Shane Mitchell, Mountain Home Air Force Base, Idaho.